Tak. Let's go move aside. Hello, Papa. How was the trip? Good. You look pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Give me the case. Were the sisters pleased with you? <laughs> sisters are never pleased with anything. But you passed your exams? Of course I passed the stupid exams. Now I'm really back.
What is it? Ah, you look just like your mother. First time I saw her. Let's go see her. Papa about the mission school. I'm not going back. Not going back. Never. I hate it there. And the other girls hate me. I'm sure that's not true. It is. They laugh at me and call me names. What kind of names? What kind of names? Squaw. Half breed. Red whore.
It's good to see you again. We hear from the trading post that Taggart is trying to buy this land. My father will never sell this land, bro. Least of all to a man like Taggart. Where are you being? Gabby little thing, ain't you? Okay. Make yourself useful and start grading your skins. Forty dollars a whole lot. Four tens? You heard. They're worth three. Four times that much. Maybe. Maybe not. That's my price. It is unfair. <laughs> Think you can do better, fine. We'll take him someplace else. <laughs> Ain't no place else, is there? This is the only trading post within 100 miles. And I'm the only trader you got. Price is $40. You take it or you leave it. Only make up your mind quick, boy, because I ain't about to... Hey! Get your greasy fingers out of them beans. You, squaw! Get that dirty little run out of here, will you? And go find your papoose. Come on. Come on! Out! Out! <laughs> I tell you what. And only because I am feeling generous. Oyster charge. Is it a deal? It is a deal. Now that's a fine looking fish. It look even finer in a skillet. I won't argue with that. We're just about done here. Don't be long. Beautiful girl, your daughter, Pierre. You must be proud. Yes, I am. You still counting animals for the government? <laughs> yeah, I'm still a zoologist. Seems a crazy kind of job to me. How come you never got married? Yeah, I almost did once. Just didn't work out. At least you saved yourself a whole heap of worry. What do you have to worry about? <laughs> Nappies. Nappies? What's going to happen to her? <laughs> what kind of life is she going to have? <laughs> what do you want, Pierre? You wanted to grow up in the city and wear that uh, face powder and those fancy shoes? God forbid. Well then? Oh, she's a half-breed. You know what that means? The whites despise her and the Indians don't trust her. She's got no real people. Suppose something happens to me. 
Nothing's gonna happen to you, Pierre. But if it does, Paul, will you watch out for her? Sure, I will. You promise? I promise. Let's go eat. No, don't go. Come back. What's up? What's the matter? I just saw the most beautiful wolf. A wolf? What was he like? Huh? Young, beautiful, Marie. Marie? It's Cree language for wild dog. He was part dog? I think so. Paul, you should have seen him, the way he stood, the way he looked at me. Wish I had. <laughs> Look after yourself. I'll try, Pierre. What are you back? In about nine or ten months, if I'm lucky. We'll look for you. You do that. Good luck, Napiz, with, uh... What do you call him? Bari. Bari, yeah. Well, I'd like to hear all about him when I get back. You hear? Hmm? I hear you. Bye, Paul. Pierre, thank you. Goodbye, Napiz. Fine man. A good man. You could do much worse than find a man like him. Your mother was about your age. When we got married. Papa, I, I don't need a husband. I don't need any man. Anyways, he wouldn't want me. Wouldn't want you? He's a white man. And white men don't marry half-breed. Peace.
Peace. Now, peace. Here, keep her face cool. In a while, give her a little of this. Yeah. And see if she stays quiet. I will. Thanks, Murray. What's all the grub for? We have visitors. Visitors? If any of your damn tribes come calling, you can tell them to get the hell out. It's not my people, it's Pierre. Pierre? Well, why didn't you say so? I've been meaning to have a little talk with him. Any peace? She's sick. Oh, hell, Mari. I run a trading post. Not a damn hospital for half-breed kids. Ah. Oh. All right, I'll close the place up. But you might start fixing supper. Because, uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I never would have recognized her. She's still in shock. No, I don't mean that. I mean, the way she's changed since the last time I saw her. You know something, Pierre? Your daughter's turned into one very pretty little lady. It's ready. Hold on, we're coming. Drink. This is good, Murray. 
Thank you. Yeah, I'll see one thing about her. She sure can cook. <laughs> but one of the only reasons to keep her around. I'll see you in peace. You thought any more about that offer I made you last year? What offer? Why, well, to buy your land. It's not for sale. Hey, I'd make you a good price. I wouldn't cheat you. No. Suppose we go into partnership. We split the whole take 50-50. What do you say to that? I can't do it. Why the hell not? It's partly Cree land. You mean old broken foot and that miserable little tribe of his? <laughs> hell! They ain't nothing but a bunch of grease balls. I have no right to take away their land. You got every damn right in the world, you do. You're white, Pierre. You're a white man. Since you won't sell to me, and you won't go into partnership, maybe there's another way. How about I become part of the family? I don't understand. Hey, it's simple. <laughs> you got one hell of a beautiful daughter, and well, I ain't got no wife. What do you say to that? <laughs> I can see it sure tickles your fancy, huh? No. Yeah. You think about it. I ain't no hurry. No, sir. How soon can she travel? She's pretty weak. She needs to... How soon? I'll see she's ready in the morning. Travel well, and look after yourself. You too. If you ever want to leave here, there's always a place with us. You know that. It's too late for me, Pierre. You look after me, peace, and keep her away from here. Thank you, with all my heart. Hey, Pierre! What we talked about? Why don't you just think it over? What do you say to you? Nothing. You liar! No, he thanked me, that was all. If you've done anything to cross me, so help me God! No. Go open the store. <sighs> and clean yourself up. You look terrible. Be back. I feel safe here. Taggart will be coming soon. Who cares about Taggart? He's a fool. But he has power. A man like him. Doesn't take no for an answer. Nippies, I'm worried for you. Don't be. I know how to handle Dagger. I can take care of myself. I'll be back in a couple of days. You better start packing. No. No.
Hold on, man. You ain't just whoop. You're part doll. You may be worth a hundred dollars. You still right where you are now. Don't you go away. Damn you, dog. I'll show you. Pace, get me the dandy brush. Pace, coming. We didn't waste any time. We better get back inside. I said, get back inside. Look who he's got with him. Let him go. Cool. Hey there. You beat him. You better watch out. He bites. Me, I hate wolves. Don't be scared. See what one did to me right here? If I could kill them all, I would. Oh, well, look. You want him, you can keep him. Come on. Come on. You know why I love you so much? Whoa! Get him off me! Down! Down! Down, boy. Well, I've just been talking with your father. I guess you know what about. And what did he say? All oh, about the same thing as last time. So now you can go home. Well, wait a minute, Nippies. Listen. The way I see it, you're a grown-up woman now. And every woman's got a right to answer for themselves. Are you saying you want to know what I think? Well, yes, I am. See, I ain't never felt this way before. The peas. Want to make you my wife. It's a good offer. A fair offer. Make you the richest woman around these parts. Yeah. Any, uh, anything that strikes your fancy, you got it. I mean anything. You have all the clothes you want. Fine silks. Satins, more furs than a high-born lady. Huh. Look, I gotta know right now. Not here. Not here. Oh, I get it. <laughs> what Papa don't see ain't gonna hurt him, right?
Looks like there ain't no place to hide now. Who wants to be any place else? It's quiet here. It's private. No one will see what we do. You are so beautiful. Most beautiful woman I ever seen. You know I want you. Is it a deal? What do you say? I say. I say. This! Ah! There's your answer. I don't care. You should. He won't give up. Let him do what he likes. I don't want any man. Father, that the trapping is best on the other side of the river this year. I will. Tell him also, we are hearing stories from the north. The Red Death is there. Smallpox? Many of our people have died. White men also. Do you think it'll come here? Who's to say? There is no guarding against it. Do not go into places where people gather in that peace. Like the trading post. Mm-hmm. There's no danger of that. Taggart still wants you. He is Nakani, the evil one. He will come for you again. Let him. I'm not afraid of him, not with Burry. He is a fine animal. He is truly Barry. Teach him about poison. Poison? Strychnine. What men put in their traps. Teach him to avoid it. Make sure that he trusts no man. Not even my father? No man, red or white. He's a good one. these photographs near Fort McPherson. They're good, Paul. Very good. 
I heard about smallpox up there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Especially for the Indians. They have no resistance against it. Hundreds have died. Another gift from the white man. I'm afraid so. It's good you're here, Paul. How long are you staying? Tomorrow. I'll be leaving in the late morning. No, you won't. You're staying all day tomorrow, Paul Wayman, or I'll never speak to you again. Oh, what's so special about tomorrow? You don't know? No. It's my birthday. It is? Yes. Well, I guess I'll be staying. Good. Marie. Oh. <laughs> you like it? It's beautiful. Thank you, Papa. You better try it on first. Happy birthday. Thank you, Paul. It's an elephant. It's lovely. Thank you. Do I look all right? Yes, you look... elegant. Doesn't she, Pierre? Princess. Like her mother. <laughs> Here we go. Let me take a picture of you. Marie? Come on. It's easy. Come on. All right. Paul, smile. You ready? But when will I get my photographs? As soon as I get them developed, I'll drop them off the trading post. With Taggart? No, I'll leave them with Marie.
Take care, Paul. Thank you, Pierre. I will. Come back soon. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I know. But I wish he wasn't going. Marie, this is our place. No one knows it but us. It's our secret. Come on. No. It's poison. It's bad. Now, this is how some men bait their traps. No. It's poison, see? Now we're gonna play a game. Which one? Which one? That's it. Good. You know why I love you so much? Because we're so much alike. Half-breeds. That's what we are. Come on, Marie. Show them to me, Barry. It's nothing, Tucker. Please, I. <laughs> Please, I. <laughs> you damn lying Indian. <laughs> Next time Wayman comes by, you can tell him I got a little score to settle with him. Wash. Listen. Don't forget me. You did right. I don't think so. He's one of them. No, they'll never accept him. Ah, oh, nippies.
Oh, my God. They hurt him bad. They always do if you're not one of them. Wolves are people, they're all the same. Good day to you, Charlie Dullknife. I bring a message from Paul Wayman. He says for you to meet him at Sunrock. Is Paul hurt? Is he sick? <laughs> he said it is important. Now, you must come quickly. When did he call for me? Uh, three days ago. Papa, you've got to go. Wait. I'll get my stuff. Day that's going to kill you, Charlie. Not to worry, Peter. <clears throat> Mr. Jagger's got plenty more whiskey for Charlie. He promised me six more bottles when this job's done. <clears throat> Hey, you witch! 
You got me under some kind of spell. You're driving me crazy, DeBreeze. Look, you know I don't want to hurt you now. No. But you gotta stop lying to me, okay? <laughs> What kind of wolf was this? The Beezus wolf. He run alone. And he was rubbing my trap lines? He break all. Get out of here. I come for trade. Didn't you hear me? I said, get out of here! Give me some strict. Yeah, you like the smell of that, you devil. <sighs> Let's see who you like the taste of that, you devil.
I'll get you, wolf. Okay, you devil! It's you or it's me!
You'll die first. You're gonna die real slow. Real slow. Post soon, you'll freeze to death. I'm not dying, Wayman. I'm not dying before him. He's dead! I thought he'd get me, Wayman. <laughs> But I got him. I got him.
You're leaving? Yes. I'm going to sing a piece. There's something I have to tell her. You don't know? Know what? The piece is gone. Gone where? What? There was a fire. The cabin burnt down. Pierre was killed. I think he had something to do with it. He swears he didn't. But I know he did. She's alive. She's hiding somewhere by the river. Ready yet? Almost. Just make it hot. Where'd Wayman go? I didn't say. Did you tell him anything? No. I said, drink it. You like the taste of strict net? Wayman knows. He's gone. With the dog wolf. The dog is dead. I killed him. No. The dog is with Wayman. They've gone to find the peace.
After the river, I hid in the forest. I was hurt. It's a miracle you weren't killed. I went to the village, and Smallpox was there. Brokenfoot was sick. When he heard what happened, he was afraid for me. He said Taggart would come after me. You were the only witness. Broken foot died. The rest of the tribe moved to Lac Bay. They were good to me, but I was sad. But I'm home now. Start our lives over. 